boys. No, he's not in trouble. They're a nine and a half point favorite, according to Fox Bet Sportsbook, as they host the Chicago Bears Sunday. Chicago coming off that 33-14 upset win against the Patriots Monday night. That's where they rushed for nearly 250 yards. <laughs> Skip number one, no reverse jinxing. Number two, <laughs> Shannon, on a scale of one to ten, how big of a threat do the Bears pose to the Cowboys? Zero. I am zero? going. I ain't going you're, I, you're, you're doing a zero? zero like this zero is threat. a lock? Zero threat. 13 points. A lock? This Th is a lock, cakewalk? Lock it. Lock it. Lock it. Really? On the lock and key. Uh, I might lock, lock you up. <laughs> Skip, look here. The Cowboys' defense should dominate this ball game. The Cowboys are number one in sack. Mm -hmm. Guess who? Guess who? Quarterback gets sacked the most in the NFL? <sighs> the Bears. The Cowboys are second in points allowed. The Bears are 25th in points scored. Justin Fields has the 27th QBR, 37.3. Skip Baylor tells me that the QBR is zero to 100, 50 is average. He's 12 and a half points under average, and they're tied for the fourth. But he's throwing the fourth most interceptions. Mm. Isn't that a recipe for? Like a 21, 28 point victory? Is it? Yeah. And, and they just gave up one of their best defensive players. So, what message did they send in that locker? Okay, you just came off a big win on the road in a prime time game, and then come wins, just get what they do. They turn around and do what? Shit one of the best defensive players out. So, what message did you send to your team? Y'all trying to do something? The only thing it would have been worse is they'd have shipped out Roquan Smith because yep. he's having an unbelievable season. He is, I agree. So, uh, unfortunately for, for me, <laughs> uh, I mean, now if y'all just traded for him, I'd have like I wouldn't have came to work the next day. <laughs> I, know, I would have. I know you would. I might have danced in the middle of this table. You'd have got a real Quan Smith jersey. I, I have. No, Skip. I, I don't see. I don't see the Bears. I see what you're trying to do too, Skip. I know I'm not you're trying, trying to. Yeah, do you, you're sneaky. You're sneaky. No. Uh, I say yeah. They'll, they'll pose a threat, and then you come out here after the Cowboys beat the brakes off. We're on our way. No, I'm 13 points. Completely transparent. I'm an open book. I'm going. That I'm, I'm go about to close on you. I'm going Cowboys 30. I'm gonna say you know what? I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna say the Bears get 16. 30 to 16. So yep. you said it's a 14 point game. Yep. I said 13. Yep. Go with 14. Okay. And it's a 9.5 spread. Yep. My Cowboys at home are favored by nine and a half points. Shannon says they'll cover. He he said it's going to be a cakewalk, but then all of a sudden they barely cover it, 14 to, to Skip, nine. Do you realize how in the NFL game how much two scores is in the NFL game? Well, you, you got to at least go to 40. 40 what? 40 points for my, my team. Man, this is not I got Dak back in the This is not Ohio State and Rutgers. Oh, okay. This all is right. not Alabama and Vanderbilt. Well, you, you that's know? what you just talked about, and then all of a sudden you started to back away. Skip, this is an NFL. Skip. <laughs> I, I realize what it is. That's what I'm about to tell you. You're actually starting to make my case. No, but I think they're not they're not better than that NFL team. Okay. I'm just gonna spit facts. Just last Sunday, I had to sit and watch my team with my quarterback back in the saddle come very close to trailing 13 to 10 early in the fourth quarter against the Detroit Lions who were just lying in the weeds on Sunday. <laughs> yeah. The Lions, they're dead last in every defensive category, and they had the ball at the – it should have been at like the one-quarter line, but it yeah. was at the one-yard yeah. line. They, they should have reviewed that and done better than yes. where, where they placed it. Micah tracked down the tight end and threw him out of bounds. Probably saved the game. And then Demarcus Lawrence definitely saved the game. He blew up Jamal Williams in the hole. He rocked him. Yeah. And yeah. he spit the football right up and right back to us. And it, instead of 13 to 10, all of a sudden, we got the ball going the other way. And we went with it. And the defense continued to take over. And we had five total takeaways. And we pulled away by a very misleading 24 to 6. But early in the fourth quarter, Detroit was on the doorstep of yeah. leading 13 to 10. What? I can't get the bad taste out of my mouth because that's horrifying. That's, that's more horrifying than any Halloween movie that I might be watching in the next couple of days. The point is, Dak, you can only go three of nine on third down against a team that was giving up 50% at the bottom of the barrel in the league? Yeah, but Skip, your offense... It's not like your offense is Buffalo or Kansas City. Okay, are we That's, talking about the 85 Bears here again, no, where all we need is sort of Jim McMahon and company? No, but what you're really good at, the Bears are really, really bad at. 
you're really, really good at defense, and the Bears are really not good at offense. Okay. So what did I just witness on Monday night football? I watched a Chicago Bears team that I believe they were 10-point dogs at New England. Maybe, maybe it was only seven. But, okay. but anyway, they were, they were dogs. They were dogs. I watched them go into Foxborough on a Monday night and embarrass Bill Belichick. Yeah. I listened to Troy Aikman on that telecast say that it reminds him of early Cowboys because there's, there's always a turnaround win when you go from really bad to pretty good where you look back at that watershed moment and you said, that game, we found ourselves. And it happens. You, you know it happens in this league. Right. That's what I love about it because when, when you least expect it, a team just puts on a show. They won 33-14. to 14. But, but here's the thing, what Troy probably didn't tell you, that he didn't expect the other team to all of a sudden try to have two captains of a ship. And that's what Coach okay, Belichick well, tried to did. do. I know, he ruined it. I, <laughs> I, I, I buy that. I, I give you all of the above. But all of a sudden, Justin Fields started to look a little like Jalen Hurts to me. Yeah. He started to get a hold of it. And he has ability. I'm not saying he's the greatest thrower, but neither was Jalen for a while. Right. And now he's morphing into that. Right. Justin Fields is a really good runner of the football. Oh, yeah. he, he, has, he has natural, easy ability running the football yeah. where he, he takes my breath away, and they started to call some. That's what you they know, need to do. And it's the old USC John Robinson student body left. Let's right. just snap it to him in the shotgun, and he just goes. Take off, yeah. He can be Charles White or Ricky Bell or Marcus Allen, yeah. right? Yeah, And remember that big third, and it was, it was third and six, and he just easily right. he just turns the corner and gets it. Yeah, the third down skip. I mean, he's picked up a third and 11, picked up third and 14. I mean, th and that's what you have to worry about is that when he drops back to pass because he can get off script. Okay, and you corrected me yesterday. I was thinking it was 234 they rushed for, but you're right, it was 243. Yeah. They rushed for 243 on Belichick? Well, that didn't have anything to do with musical quarterbacks. No. 243 at Foxborough on a Monday night, I never thought I would see the day or night that that would happen to a Belichick defense. 243, I'm telling you, my defense, as much as I love it, my oh Micah, 11 from heaven, you can still run on my defense. You can run at Micah to try to neutralize him a little bit. Yeah. Occasionally you can get him if you suspend him in no man's land where he's like, should I go or stay? Should I come or not? And it looked like Justin Fields was starting to get a hold of how to do that to an unblockable defensive end. It's a hard game to figure out. It takes a while. Brady was the anomaly in that first year of starting. But, but all of a sudden, it looked like one it's, of those moments. The best thing to happen to Brady, Skip, and it happened to uh, Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. He got one year to sit and he watch. He did. Okay. I got it. They, they, they throwing, did. They're throwing these guys into the no, fire now. No. They get thrown in, and Justin got rocked in that preseason game like, Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's almost like, can you even recover psychologically from that? It looks like they're turning it around. And, and I get you on Robert Quinn. I was shocked by that. But he only had one sack this year. So he wasn't being Robert Quinn for them. And I don't know why, because I still think he's going to help Philly a lot. You'll find out. Okay. It, it might be like, clear the decks, change the scenery. Oh, I love this. I need him to be Robert Quinn against the Cowboys. Okay. I don't need him to be Robert Quinn, though. No. Okay. Well, he's not going to be Robert Quinn against the Cowboys this Sunday because he ain't there anymore. That's okay. I'm not sure. Different criminal. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm with you on that. But I, I'm going to get an early Christmas present for my team on that game. That is wreak revenge. But the point is that I don't think that locker room is really going to miss him this Sunday because – the vibes are so strong, and, and you say, well, it's a short week. They had to fly back to yeah, Chicago on Monday it. night. Now they got to fly to Dallas Yeah, on who did that? Tried to help the Jerry, Cowboys. Jerry pulled he some probably, strings. He probably he pulled did. a string or two. Yeah. You think he really feared the Chicago he Bears? He probably told Roger, don't you mess with me, Roger, <laughs> like he told no, Mr. Crown. No. I think Roger <laughs> would mess with him like crazy. <laughs> just to just to nah, do, nah, right? nah. Okay. So the point is, when you're hot, when you're coming off what could be a signature win yeah. for a turnaround Eberflus sort of era. Right. I, I, I don't think you need much prep. I, I don't think you, it almost hurts you to have to spend a whole week until you play again. I think they're coming in hot. 
Well, now it's going to be interesting to see. Look at that Matt Eberflus and look at what he did and, and uh, end in what he does now. He likes to play a lot of cover two. You can run the football. You got to run a team out of cover two. It's hard to throw a team out of cover two. You got to run them out of cover two. Okay. So it's going to be interesting to see if Zeke doesn't play, can you guys run him out of that shell coverage? Can you do that? If you can't, you, it's going to be a, it's going to be tough sledding for you, Skip. As much as Zeke has disappointed me, I woke up this morning thinking, I don't think he's going to play, and I'm going to miss him. But I'm going to miss not, not his actual production. I'm going to miss his spirit. You want to talk about warrior spirit? Mm -hmm. he, he represents. 2-1 yeah. is, is going to fight his tail off. He's going to run through brick walls to a fault because right. it's starting to take more days off his life. It does. But the point is, he's so great at blitz pickup that it inspires the whole team because – he, he annihilates people r running through holes. He, he'll he'll just size them up and absolutely nuke them. Tony Pollard is going to have to get That's what I'm saying. That. Especially, okay. on, especially I, I, on Sunday. Because you know they like to blitz Raekwon Smith. Now. Like and that's blitz. Tony Pollard. That's going to be your guy. Okay. He, he, he has no use for it. I, I don't think he was born to do it. I don't think it's part of his repertoire or his makeup. No block, no play. Okay. Well, who else? You know, we'll, we'll, okay. Because it's going to be a Tony Pollard game. They might try to get him 15 or 20 at least touches. I don't know if they I, care. I look at these guys, and I skip these running backs, and I look at some of these guys. I don't think you could have played. Because Alex Gibbs, our offensive line coach, he's like, okay, no block, no play. He got on John. John, get your ass over there and hold that in on the carry out the fake. Because John was supposed to hand the ball off the TD, yep. carry out the fake to hold it in. Hey, nobody was exempt. No. Nope. You got a job to do. Hey, TD, that's your guy. Got Step to. up in the hole and get him. It's, it's crucial. Yes. It's absolutely crucial. Yes. To, to your quarterback's health, it's crucial. <laughs> Seriously. When the quarterback's like, oh, I got this thing protected. Yeah. Ooh, I ain't worried about nothing. I got the line going the way I want to. Yeah. Run it back, go get his guy. Then all of a sudden. What? And you. My, where, where were you? This is how you know who at fault, Skip. The first guy that helps you up, yep. it was his man that sacked you. That is correct. Because <laughs> that's how he got so close to you to help you up. Okay. I am not going to bet against my team. I'm not going to bet a drop of dew against my team. You I'm just here to tell you it's going to be under 9.5 no, points. Well, if, it's, if it's under 9 points, y'all in a heap of trouble. You need hey, your offense. If it's under 9 points, your offense didn't Under nothing. the spread, I'm talking yeah, no, about. That's what I'm yeah. Saying. yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I think this is going to be a close game. Because here's the thing. I, well, close game, Skip. I don't think your, – your, your defense is not going to give up a bunch of points. No. So if it's close, Agreed. what is your offense doing? Okay, well – <laughs> that that, that's been a question. That's that was a question against Detroit. Remember, I told you we, we were we had ten points early in the fourth quarter against the worst defensive team in pro football. I, Help me out. I'm going to chalk. What are you talking about? I'm going to chalk that up to say Dak was out for a month and a rusty. half. Rusty. Okay. He's rusty. Okay. All right. He okay. got, he got another you, week of practice up I'll in give his you belt. Some of that. I think the Bears are pretty good on defense. I think they play hard on defense. I think they have spirit on defense. I like their style, their swagger. I like the way they attacked on defense against Belichick because they, they terrorize those guys. Right. Well, Skip, when you're playing a guy and you know he don't have a big-time arm, I'm playing short on everything. I ain't, uh, Billy Zappi not throwing the ball over anybody's head. Mm. Ba excuse me, I keep calling him man Billy. Bailey Zappi is not throwing the ball over anyone's head. You're I'm not concerned. Him whatever about. you want to call him. I'm sure New England people are calling him lots of things. <laughs> oh, no, we want the Zappi hour. Ooh, yeah. the Zappi hour. Yeah, okay. Well, okay. How yeah, long did that, that last? That lasted about <laughs> five minutes. Okay. Right? Okay. So, in the end, I say close game because they're going to run the football on us. And if they get 150, remember, they just got 243. Right. If they get 150,